I'm chatting with Raven Simone, star of Disney's That's So Raven, but I had no idea just how much she loves food shows. Tell me about food. I watched the food. Let me tell you something. When I was supposed to, let me, let me just express this really fast. Okay. When I was upstairs in my room when I yeah. lived in Atlanta, um, after my homework, I would turn on the Food Network and watch it until around... Three o'clock in the morning sometimes. Unbelievable. Because at three o'clock, you know, the Galloping Gourmet comes on and Julius oh. Child comes on. I love it. Gotta love it. And then you I can't came. believe you even know who the Galloping Gourmet oh, is. I don't play. That's hysterical. Don't, don't That's play. excellent. Don't That's play. excellent. Uh, the two fat ladies. You came oh in. Oh my See, God. I started that loving so Food cool. Network when Emerald was on a hot plate and a different me and my mom. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had great shows like yours and well, a melting pot. And Oh, I watch. I watch. No. And you know what? I'm sorry. I have to put one more thing in here. Of course. My friends used to make fun of me because I used to watch the Food Network all the time. No cartoons or anything. They're like, don't you get hungry? And I say no because I'm taking in all the information that you guys give us and use it in my own cuisine. I might not necessarily make your recipe. I know. You just get it's ideas. Just sure. fabulous. But the food, you do need smell of vision with the food that you can create. <laughs> <laughs> so how often do you get a chance to cook, though? I mean, what are your what's your day-to-day -day life like? Do you get an opportunity to do a lot of cooking? Well, I used to before the show started. I used to cook Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner for my families when we moved yeah. out here. Seriously? It was my grandmother's Aww. job, but now I do it. Um, and I do it every once in a while, but, you know, we go on the set and I'm there all day, so I kind of just eat craft service. Right. But um, I do have all my little recipes up here when I do when I am able to have my... My, my fabulous dinners, I will do it sometime. Do, do you do that for your friends, too, on special occasions? For, for, for my best friend's birthday, I made her um, these Japanese pot stickers. And, uh, Yum. It, they were really good. And, oh, actually, for my show one day, I brought in this turkey. Oh, I made two big 12-pound turkeys wow. and a big um, pan of beans and Yum. cornbread. Oh, mm. so good. Sounds delicious. It was really good. Well, tonight you're going to do something that you could do, like any night of the week when you're out working, though, right? This you is actually... Throw a little big ziti. Exactly. It's my, my favorite meal. My mom, this is what I used to look forward to for her cooking all the time, and she made it for my birthdays, and they loved coming to my parties because it tastes so good when she makes it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sure it tastes perfectly fine when you make it, too. I know, but it's that mother thing. She just... So I, I guess know. she just sticks her hand in it or foot in it and just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what do you, you know, do you plan where you want to go next, or you're just enjoying everything you're doing? What, you know, well, do you definitely know you want to go into just music, or you want to stay in television? You want to go into movies? What do you want to do? No, I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to be doing. Let me tell you my my schedule now, and then I'll tell you what I want to do later. Okay. Um, right now, I am going to be doing a movie called All American Girl for Disney. Um, it's cool. Yeah, I'm going to be filming it next year and it should be coming out real soon um hey i also have another movie that's in the works called sparkle which is a remake of an irene carr movie and i'm going to be playing sparkle as well my album going to be some more albums coming out that's a raven i'm going to be doing a pilot for um abc hopefully that'll get picked up so we'll see what happens with that i want to get into a lot of merchandising and i want to I want to go to culinary school and have a restaurant. Yes, you definitely should <laughs> have a do. restaurant with your personality. Because, you know, I mean, it's more than just a love of food. You have to love people, too, for that kind of business. And with your personality, it would be wonderful. So when I call you, you'll help me, right? I would go. Okay, I would cool. help Put you. some recommendations out there so I can go to Le Cordon Absolutely. Bleu. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. No problem. Thank you got you. it. You got it. Wow, that's an extremely busy schedule. <laughs> so when do you start the, uh, the American Girl movie? Next year, around um, March. Do you know any of the other? Is it is it like the American Girls? Like no, 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 no. This movie is really cool, actually. Mm -hmm. This movie is about a girl who saves the president by accident and yeah. becomes a national hero. And to start off, she's not a very she's not a girl with a lot of confidence, and she doesn't think that her you know voice means anything and what she believes. But when she becomes a national hero, everything that she thinks she's now speaking about and it's helping kids because you know we have a lot of concerns and sometimes we're afraid to speak about them and she finally has that outlet and that's she excellent mm -hmm. that's excellent um so yeah you want to get started on let's cooking? cook let's I'm cook some. all right stick around next we'll get started on raven's baked ziti and i'll share some info about different kinds of pasta this is a ziti rigatti when it's when it's cut like this on the ends. If it's cut on an angle, mm -hmm. it's a penne because it looks like a pen. Mm -hmm. And the little lines are called rigatti.